Hey everyone. Now one of the neighbours had an old hard drive here, an old part of one, or parallel ATA or IDE, you know the ones with the old connectors like that, and he said it's got some wedding videos of theirs from like 20 years ago or whatever, and he can't get the files off, and it came out of some DVD player, and he wanted me to see what I could do. So I'm going to see what I can do. Now first things first, this old connector here is a parallel connector, that's why it's got so many pins, so your data came off in parallel, compared to modern ones that just have the serial one like that. So I'll get that out of the way. So I had to cast my mind back because you used to have to have the jumper settings, you can see it on here. Set it to master, slave or cable select. I've just put the jumper to master because it's the only one on this bus. You used to have that sort of going to a couple along there. But anyway, that's the hard drive. Now I've got this little adapter from AliExpress or something that goes from that IDE connector to a normal USB one. So I'm going to use that to get the data off this drive. So the idea being, I plug that in there and also the power, because I have a power supply. And I should be able to connect that to the computer and see what happens. Give it some power. Spin it up. Plug it into the computer here. Okay, now I'll run the old D message here and see that SDA came up. So what I'll do is I'll run G parted and see what happened. That's the drive there though, that's the size. So anyway. Here part Ed. Let's have a look. There's my disk there. And this is this one. Now it doesn't know of any file type. As you can see there's one there, like it's got SDA1, but I don't know what it is. So anyway, I'm going to try and pluck out files from this thing. Now the first thing I'm going to do, because I know it's dev SDA and SDA1. So SDA is the, the whole disk, and this is the partition on it. So I'm just going to Copy that whole disk, so data duplicator from oops, input file is dev sda, output file equals I don't know, disk image, and status equals progress. So, what will happen now? That's going to copy that whole disk bit for bit onto a file. So, rather than messing around with the drive and I try and get data from it, I can just get it from the file locally. That's going to take a while. Okay, that's done, so I can pull the hard drive out now. So I can take this out now. Even though I will come back to this later. I'll leave that bit in. But for now, I don't need that anymore for this part of the process. Okay, so here's the file. You can see it there, 75 gig, as it says. So what I can do is uh, look at the hex on that. XXD uh, disk, blah, 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 just more it. So this is looking from the start. You can see the very first part starts with this PNR HDD. Go along a bit, I'm past it, there's some stuff here. Now that's good and well for those bits of ASCII, but what I can do is just run strings to find them. So disk image and more. Just shows the strings so it makes it a bit clearer. You can see here we've got some bits about it. it's pioneer. So anyway, I can work with that image. And what I can do is go G parted, dev, oh, not dev, it's not dev anymore. It's just this image, so disk image, boom. And it'll show exactly what it did before, as though it's a real one. So there's my file, and that's where I was before. So, now I need to pluck out what I can from that thing. Now if it were nice and easy, there'd be a file system that I know of, that I could have just mounted this and copied the files, but it's an unknown file system, and it seems to be something custom to that device. So, I'm going to have to do it the long way. Now the program I'm going to use is PhotoRec, which is part of install test disk. So if you don't have photo rec, install test disk first. Okay, so I'm going to make a directory to put this stuff in. Uh, files, why not? And run photo rec on the image. That image there. So that image, that disk, that partition, try it as type ex23, the Linuxy looking ones as opposed to the Windowsy looking ones. And I'm going to put it in that files directory that I just made. So you see if continue and let it do its thing. This shit here about taking one minute is a lie. It will take a lot longer than one minute. All right, so it's recovered stuff. In fact, what I'll do while it's still going, in that files directory, what have I got? It should be root owned. Hmm. But I can read it. So we've got stuff in here. We've got JPEGs. Actually, I better not show you that. Let's see what MPEGs he's got. Uh, <laughs> MPEG. Um, so it's got a few already. Uh, some dodgy shit. What else has he got here? Fucking crap has he got? That looks a bit... Yeah. South Park. <laughs> I 
in South Park. Apparently he's got wedding videos, but anyway, a whole bunch of other shit as well. So I'll let that run and see what it gets out of it. While well, it's still going, I see it's got one text file, so I'll see what that is. You can see it's just this Pioneer thing. That was the device, so 20 years ago. All right, that's done. So I guess it recovered some files. I'll just quit out of all that. City files, recrypto. That's what he's got. I noticed this on here, some old ad, 20 more month contract, 1800 bucks. All right, I gave that another go using fat NTFS as the option and it found it. So it's just the way it reconstructs these files. I gave both of them a go and that worked better. So anyway, I found some of their wedding video. All right, now I've recovered whatever files he's gonna get recovered off this. I'll set this up as a normal drive, something that he can mount at home and I'll put those files back on here for him. Okay, so dev, SDA, there they are. So G parted, I'll run that again. Bring it over here. That's my disk, go to his. There it is, what I'm gonna do is just piss all this off. Delete that, make a new partition. Call it something that he can use. So I'll give him XFAT, he can have XFAT. I don't care about a label. That's about it there. Yeah, for, well, for it's already XFAT, isn't it? Uh, just do that and set it up. Okay, done. So now when I plug it back in, let's see what happens. Okay, so now dev sda1, it's there. So it should be a media one. There it is there. So that's his disk. So what I'll do, just as a normal user, I will, uh, where did I put it? CD disk image 2, that's, whoop, that's all the files. So I'm just going to copy them to that disk. And then give it back to him. Okay, since I've come this far, I might as well show you a hex dump of that drive. So SDA just shows a similar kind of stuff as before. That's the whole disk. Now if I look at the actual partition, you'll see it's got that XFAT there. So that's it. And then all the rest of it will be in there. Right, so that's his hard drive taken care of. But in the old stash of hard drives that I've got, I had one here as well. And it also didn't have a partition table on it, but I had a look and retrieve some of the files off it in the same way. So what I want to do is make sure that this drive is empty so no one else can do that before I get rid of it. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Right, so if I have a look at my drive, uh, SDA, you can see there's no partitions on there. So if I go XXD, dev SDA, you'll see I've just got zeros. There's nothing here. And to do that, I just go DD, uh, input file equals dev zero, which is just all zeros. Output file equals um, the device, so dev SDA, and that's it. I could show you it. Status equals progress. I've already done it, so there's no real point to it. But all that's doing is copying zeros to every bit on that hard drive, just so now I can uh, do that on my stuff. Now, some of you might have noticed when I went to Gparted, I'll show you my disk here. You'll, you may have noticed it says encrypted down here. That's because I've got the whole volume encrypted so that you can't do that if someone gets hold of the disk that's in here. So I have to put a password in when the computer boots up, but that's all encrypted on my disk. All right, so that's about it for today's fun. I recovered the data off his disk drive there and give that back to him. I verified that my old one has zeros, so you can't do that with it. And that 500 gigabyte drive here is the same as this 500 gigabyte drive. Anyway, perfectly good drive. Don't know what I'll do with it, get rid of it, but um, at least my data won't leak out there. And the stuff that I do now is all encrypted anyway. So that's it for now. Till next time, take it easy.